Hey, what's up, BFL fam? I'm here with my friend Stephen from Red Lessons. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, very exciting video. We are yep. proud to announce a new release from Pop Fum de Marley called Percival. Keep it right there, and we'll tell you all about it. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. The last official men's release from Parfum de Mali was Leighton. That's right, yeah. There was Leighton Exclusive, but that was a flanker, so this is really a brand new standalone men's Parfum de Mali. Correct, yeah. We've had the honor of smelling it a few times before. <laughs> that's true, that's true. We met for dinner one day with creative director Yvonne Jacqueline. Yeah. He was wearing it and I was like, what are you wearing? It's the new one. Mm -hmm. And the event that we did at Oswald, before I left, he sprayed it all over my jacket. When I got home an hour later to my building, after we went out to eat, so it was really like two hours later, Yeah. I got into my elevator, there was a man in there who says, what are you wearing? I was like, what, a suit? He said, no, no, you're cologne. <laughs> oh, <laughs> usually I know that's what they meant, but he, yeah. he said you smell really, really good. So oh, wow. that was an unsolicited compliment right out the gate. Yeah, it's funny, because I got a few myself. So funny story, he sprayed me too that day. Mm -hmm. And I went home and I hung up my shirt on uh, somewhere in my bathroom. And I went to use my bathroom the next morning and I'm like, what candle did I have burning in here? It smells so good. <laughs> and it actually ended up being the remnants of the scent on my dress shirt. Wow. So I actually wore this one to work today and I got a compliment from the Spanish teacher. I was helping her with something on her laptop mm -hmm. and she goes, um, your cologne smells really good. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. And I said, I don't even know what I'm wearing today. I had forgotten at the moment. And she goes, well, you always smell good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a given. Percival is a new launch. It's yep. launching October 1st, 2018, officially. But we are having an event. We'll be doing a preview of the fragrance at the boutique at 805 Washington Street on September 21st from 6 to 8 p.m. But you have to RSVP. I will leave that information down below if you want to come. They're anticipating a big crowd for this particular event. I'm excited about that. I really am too. And yeah. uh, I so hope the weather's nice. <laughs> so to make sure you have your spot reserved, please do RSVP on the email that I leave down below. Sounds good. So 2018 release, right? The perfumer is Hamid Marati Kashani, who is the same perfumer that did Leighton and Leighton Exclusive. So if you're familiar with the DNA of those scents, but you want something that's a little bit lighter, fresher, a bit more mass appealing, but still retaining a good deal of uniqueness, I think this is where you ought to go. Um, and then the notes for this one are bergamot, mandarin orange, aromatic notes, jasmine, violet, geranium, lavender, pink pepper, coriander, cinnamon, musk, woody notes, Spices, black pepper, nutmeg, and tonka bean. And That's quite the palette. Yeah. There's a lot of notes in this composition. What I get from this, I get like a fougier type feeling from it. The lavender is there. It smells mass appealing in the way that Leighton does. Mm -hmm. But there's something that's appealing. It's not challenging in any way. It's fresh, but it has. it's grounded by yeah. that Parfum de Marly thickness that we've all come to know from their fragrances. Yeah, that was my thought too, because before I said, you know, the only fragrance that I can really recommend for like the hotter weather, the one that I think in my opinion is the most versatile is Galloway. And so I had been hoping for a fresh release from the house. And since they came out with Percival, this really hits the nail on the head. I actually like Leighton in summer. It works for me. Okay. And Leighton exclusive more for the fall and winter. Mm -hmm. But I would say that this is kind of it's got a it's got a freshness about it but it's not a fresh dull citric fragrance it's got right. a nice grounded woody base that's really really nice yeah it's refined so the spices the coriander and the geranium and it, it opens up it's kind of billowy in nature but there's still that sort of gentlemanly quality about it um, it is marketed for men and I do find it to be kind of masculine. It is. Um, and it has the woods in here. It's a very complex scent, but it does have that sort of mass appealing commercial feel to it without smelling like a designer. And I do like this one a lot. It's probably going to have the most commercial appeal mm -hmm. of Parfum de Mali to date. Besides that Galloway, I, I do like that a lot. Yeah. And um, yeah. 
Leighton. And this is even one step more mass appealing than Leighton. And we were the first ones to review it two years ago when it first came out, and I, I could have very well did this on my own, but I, I for all time's sakes, you know, I wanted, I'm always happy I to want be, you to be channel, part of man. it. And, of course, uh, yeah. You know, we've kind of experienced this together. We had the previews together, Randa. Yeah. I think you guys are really going to be happy with this one. It's really a well done fragrance, in my opinion. It is a solid scent, for sure. And like you said, it has the sort of mass appeal vibe of Leighton, but Leighton is kind of a hit or miss because if you wear it around somebody that's not really a fan of sweeter scents, mm -hmm. I have a feeling they're not going to gravitate towards that. But this one doesn't really have the sweetness in there so There's much. No a little bit of tonka bean, um, but you gotta mm -hmm. wait for it in the base. I would say more of a creaminess than a sweetness. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah sure. So. It's a little creamy, it's fresh on account of the geranium, it has the spices in there to keep it interesting, it's woodsy which adds that masculine quality. So overall I think it's a very well put together scent. The spices are present for me. I don't find the floral components of this composition to be no. too forward at all. Um, if yeah. anything I get geranium and the coriander which is not a floral but those green notes give it sort of a mint like effect but not minty yeah it per doesn't se. smell like spearmint or pepper right <laughs> i agree with you i don't get the jasmine and i don't get the cinnamon so a soon to be hit in our opinion percival from parfum de marley short and sweet like i always do or maybe this might be a little longer since we had a little bit of banter <laughs> going on but that's all good right it always gets drawn out when i'm in videos you know i don't know why it is as always i would love to share a decan with two lucky subscribers a terminal decan all you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, subscribe to Mr. Red Lessons. Thank you. Like this video. If you can, share it. If not, it's not mandatory. And then leave a comment down below with what your favorite Parfum de Molly fragrance is. Please do let us know if you're coming to the event. We would love to see you. We love meeting the faces behind the profiles. These events turn out to be a lot of fun. It's very communal and, and the camaraderie and, you know, it's just... Love is in the air in yeah. the room, you know? It's none of that nonsense that happens here and there in, you know, communities online. It's just genuinely good fun and to be around like-minded people as yeah, it's you awesome. are and, and we are. There's like appetizers and yes. drinks and you're smelling and you're making jokes and it's just awesome. It's a really cool environment for sure. So please, if you're in the area, we would love it if you stop by. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on that bell icon so you don't miss notifications on new reviews, new content, giveaways. Buddies, beautiful ladies, and all the fragrant fun always happening right here. You know where it's at, BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you at the next review. Bye. As we always say, and these events, events, events of video. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, stay blessed, and we'll see you at the next We'll see you at the review. <laughs> Take care, stay blessed, and we will see you at the next review. Bye. The end it. No, I'm doing it. Again. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, stay blessed, and we will see you at the next review. Bye. Stop <laughs> your joke. <laughs> okay, one more time. Thanks so much for watching. Stay blessed, and we will see. No. Take care. No. Take care, stay blessed, and we will see you at the next review. Bye. <laughs> Can we nail the ending? Okay. Take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you at the next review. Bye. <laughs>